Bill Tai and I found the Extreme Tech Challenge back in 2000, because, 2015 because we believe that entrepreneurs and innovators can change and make a big impact. And we think that um, leading corporations, venture capitalists, policymakers, and universities can connect to the entrepreneurs and accelerate their journey. Over the years, we met some exciting, incredible men and women from all over the life. As an entrepreneur, I have a passion for innovation, technology, and looking around corners to learn about what the future holds. And I have learned a lot from this experience. It is gratifying to working with the future leaders. Today, I have invited some of incredible founders and CEOs who joined me and on the next wave to discuss why they entered the competition, what the experience was like, how the competition has influenced their business in the years to come. Today, I have a pleasure of speaking with Dr. Vikram Sharma, founder and CEO of Quiet Essence Labs. Quiet Essence Labs was named a global top four in enabling technology category in 2021. Thank you, Young. Rebecca White, recently named CEO of Pebble Labs, who were named XTC United Nations Food Forum Startup Challenge Better Nutrition winner in 2021. I really appreciate your time today, Mr. Son. Thank you for for talking with us. Sujanti Sujanti, founder and CEO at Pathgen Diagnostic Technology, who won 2021 XTC People's Choice. Thank you. Chris McCord, Chief Corporate Development Officer at Photokite, winner of 2021 XTC Smart Cities category. Thanks for joining me today. It's great seeing you all again. To begin, I want to touch on what you you to join XTC competition and what was your experience like? We were drawn to participate in the Extreme Tech Challenge through your and Bill's vision for the competition. The idea of powering the future through transformative tech really resonated with Quintessence Lab's mission. We sit at the intersection of quantum and cybersecurity and our mission is to ensure trust in our increasingly digital lives. The opportunity through the competition to interact and indeed gain the counsel of experienced investors and some of the most brilliant technologists was really a privilege. And through that participation, it actually allowed us as a company to reflect more closely and indeed refine the value proposition that we offer not only our existing stakeholders, but potential future investors. All in all, it was a truly remarkable, valuable experience. Pebble decided to enter the competition because it was an excellent way for us to gain exposure with people, companies, and potential investors that shared our mission and values. Our experience was wonderful. The entry process is very easy and straightforward. And then once we were selected as a finalist, the XTC team guided us closely on how to prepare and submit our submission. The questions from the judges were simply amazing. And the attention that we received following the competition was exponential compared to what we had received prior to the competition. And so being able to interact with those judges in particular, like yourself, uh, Mr. Son, and the others was really, really fantastic. I'm a cancer scientist by background. Despite being raised in an entrepreneur family and find doing business is something intuitive, I still have lots to learn about running a company, especially in such early stage as part gen. I came across about XTC selection for Indonesia and decided to put the application in because I want to understand how the other startup works. Being one of the finalists and eventually the winner in Indonesia has exposed me to the startup ecosystem in the region. This has opened the door for us to finally join the Global XTC final for the 2021 cohort. Our participation in the Global XTC has given me opportunity to learn from the world best coaches in business and equip me with the practical knowledge and useful skills to help me develop Pajen further such as eye-opening remarks from Young San and Bill Tai about the drive of making impacts and tips on how to woe the investor by Bill Reichert. 
We joined because XTC lined up perfectly with the impact-driven mission we have at Photokite. Our team is working every day to help first responders save lives, and XTC is really growing the momentum behind impact-oriented investors and startup teams like ours. While participating in the program, each one of the teams were able to access some extraordinary resources. Each catered to what we specifically needed, be it perfecting our investor pitches, bouncing around ideas with thought leaders in the field, or even introductions to other teams working on relevant projects. That's so great to hear. I'm so glad you can all apply and showcase your amazing companies and amazing leadership with us. Can you talk about life after XTC? I know some of you got some extra fundings. I know you also have been in to in, uh, invite some of the interesting opportunities to participate. And most importantly, you're also being able to showcase uh, your technology that can be able to impact sustainable world that we are living in. And I believe that you are in an exciting journey that has begun with XTC and continuing with it. Participating in the XTC competition really gave us a lot of attention, as I said. We use it um, as part of our pitch when we are talking to potential investors and partners. It's a way that we introduce ourselves. Having the video available on YouTube and queued right up to our presentation is a fantastic way to help someone get to know Pebble Labs. Life after XTC for Photokite has continued to move fast. We closed our Series B financing round at the same time that we participated in the 2021 Global Finals. And getting this level of exposure and discussion with Yong San, Bill Tai, and the team of mentors and coaches supporting the program was truly valuable for us to continue building the momentum we've generated at Photokite. We continue to work on more advanced and intelligence-based information delivery to first responders, and we're really proud about the industry-leading partnerships we've continued to work with, like MSA Safety and Axon Enterprise. Life after XTC for PodGen is exciting and challenging at the same time, as you would expect from early-stage company like us. Yet, we are obviously better equipped now in our effort to perfect our business model and speed up the growth. XTC Global also gives us larger exposure to the worldwide business community. Following our pitch in the global final, we receive requests for meeting from several investors based in the Silicon Valley as well as from our own region in Southeast Asia. Currently, we are in negotiation with two international funders for equity investment in Pachan. Finally, winning the People's Choice Award obviously has been a proud moment for me and our team because it meant that our vision and mission has resonated well with many people who voted for us from around the globe. This has given us extra drive to work harder to achieve our goals to provide molecular diagnostic of cancer for a wider part of the world, particularly in developing countries, including Indonesia, to improve cancer treatment. The past eight months post XCC have been quite a whirlwind. We closed about three months ago a Series B capital raise, and we've just had some further augmentation to that particular round, and it will be circa $30 million or so. We're very excited that the market context is developing very positively. The awareness of quantum technologies, and in particular, quantum cybersecurity, have really uh, increase quite significantly over this period. In fact, we've just hired a chief revenue officer based on the US East Coast, who comes to us from a NASDAQ listed company. And we're about to ret uh, retain a head of EMEA, who will be based out of Switzerland. Collectively, they plus additional resources, such as a strategic engagement lead that we have hired in Australia, will really drive this next phase of growth for Quintessence Labs. So we're very optimistic as to where the company will go over the next 24 and 36 months. Finally, what is your next wave? What should you be on the lookout for from your company? What are you hoping to achieve in the next five, 10 years? In addition to the initial product, Colomelta X, which is the PCR-based genetic test for colorectal cancer patient stratification to guide the treatment option, we are now have Pulmo Amda X, which is the for lung cancer. We are also developing digital pathology solution, which include cloud-based 
pathology interface as well as artificial intelligence assisted algorithm for histopathology biomarker analysis and quantification. Next in our pipeline, in collaboration with Indonesia government and other stakeholders, we are also looking at the diagnostic for screening test for cancer-related infection such as HPV and EBV virus. In five years' time, we are hoping to be able to scale up and expand some of our solutions in other developing countries beyond Indonesia and Asia and achieving our purpose to, prom to improve cancer treatment for not so privileged community. In 10 years, we are aiming to become IPO company so that more people can join us to deliver our vision together. Thank you. We are at the dawn of the second quantum revolution. In contrast to the first, in this phase of quantum development, we're actively engineering quantum states that don't exist in nature. And as a result, a whole host of new capabilities are coming to the fore. You would have heard, of course, about quantum computing and the dramatic advances it can offer. But for all the benefits it will offer, it will also pose a risk to many of the current technologies we use to protect information exchanges and indeed stored information. Interestingly enough, quantum offers us the solution to this threat. As we say at Quintessence Labs, we use quantum to fight quantum. And as a company, we sit at that intersection of quantum technologies and cybersecurity, using quantum capabilities to deliver our customers, primarily defense, government, and Fortune 500 companies, very strong capabilities to protect data, not only today, but into the future where they will face a quantum enabled adversary. Recently, the Quantum Insiders forecast the market for quantum cybersecurity in 2030 to be $10 billion. Quintessence Labs is positioning itself, having now a very mature technology stack and growing our capability to push into the market rapidly to be the, the leader in quantum cybersecurity. We're very excited as to what the next five or seven years are going to bring in the growth trajectory of our company. Thank you very much for XTC for being such a valuable part of our journey. Venture-backed teams are nearly always going to aim for scale. It's what makes a program like XTC so exciting since what you scale up is impact oriented. Now teams like ours that can achieve something helpful and meaningful and scale that impact will result in concrete positive changes in the way we live our lives. Be on the lookout for Photokite to show up in your local public safety departments, helping them and those teams gain the situational awareness they use to stay safe save lives and serve their communities? Well, immediately for us, we are expecting to go into our first round of field trials later this year. Long-term plans include uh, quite a lot of growth um, as we continue to go after additional targets in both the ag and the aquaculture sector. Um, we're looking to launch our first products in 2025 and um, 2026. In the meantime, we are growing our team. We have several open positions, including a strain engineer, which is in our microbiology group, a plant pathologist, which is in our agriculture group, and we expect to post um, set several, different, several additional positions um, later this year as well. If you're interested in working with Pebble, we would love to have uh, your viewers apply. Please visit our LinkedIn page um, or our website for more information on the open positions that we're hiring right now. Thanks for participating. Taking your incredibly valuable time to join me to share your experience so that others can join as well. I have a great pride in seeing former XCC participants when are succeeding in helping make the world a better place. I hope all of you who are listening to this uh, incredible journey can also join and be able to help us to continue to grow, participate, and make the difference in the world we're living in. Thank you.